<clears throat> okay, so um, let's look at how to escape the bow and arrow choke from T-mount. So a lot of times when we're in this mounted position, I open up the lapel, possibly looking for the cross choke. Lewis ties up the arm. Again, he's looking to do his bridge, his super escape. So from there, I keep a post at hand. Maybe he ties up my foot as well. But as he bridges onto the side, I lean my weight more to the side of the choking arm and I fill that space with my body. So now from there, I've caught him on the side and I switch the technical mount. But I want my knee behind his head and my right foot is in his hip. So there's three sort of main chokes I'm going to go for here. So from there, my right hand opens up the lapel, my left comes underneath. Beating it from my right to my left, so of snugness. My right hand can grab. Let's chip it this way. My right hand can grab the pants, and now I can just sit into the bow and arrow, which we looked at in the last move. As I sit back, I'll be looking to bring my leg over the shoulder. Usually, close my guard from here, and now I have control of his, his two escapes, either to his right or his left, and he is straightened. Get the choke. So option one, get back again. Option two, shuffle back this way. When he goes for that bridge again, another thing I can do from here, when I open up the lapel and feed it from my right to my left, instead of my right hand grabbing the pants, I can come underneath his armpit and I just put the back of my hand against the back of his head, a single wing choke. And now from there I can straighten my arms. The third option is, I will grab the far lapel. And again, as I take the slack out of the, the gi with my right hand, my left can straighten. We also look at Henry Aiken's detail, whereby I'll just use two fingers. And then I look at my watch, which again keeps it very, very snug. So let's look at how to escape um, those variations. The same cut. The, the concept's the same. The, 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 the I might do a slight variation on my legs depending on what he does, but the concept of unwinding the choke is the same. So this is Mart. He slides one hand into the collar. I'm already looking for the open escape, the bridge, but maybe he keeps his weight more um, to his left side. So when I start to bridge, he switches to technical mount. Again, from there, his left hand's coming underneath my ear and he passes the lapel. So the first thing I'm looking for is when he grabs the pants and he's going for that bow and arrow, I need to get belly down. For all um, three variations, I have to get belly down and unwind the choke. The problem is, I want to get this knee on the mat. But Lewis has got a grip on my pants and as I try to put my knee on the mat, he keeps this knee back by pulling with his grip, so he can't actually put my knee in the mat. So the detail is, how do I get belly down if I can't get this knee in the mat? I bring my other leg back. Okay. So from there, as he bring my other leg back, I just stretch out to here. He's going to try and finish the choke. It's difficult, but now I unwind it by going on to my other side. If he knows jiu-jitsu, he's already switching to the mount. Putting his knee in the mat, and I'm already looking to work my elbow knee escape. And I can put him back on my guard. See about again. So this is on top. He puts his hand on the collar. But now as I try to bridge, he beats me and he switches to tightening on mine. Now he's looking to hit that bow and arrow choke. So as he feeds underneath and he makes that grip, the detail is I don't try to put my knee on the mat, I kick my other leg back and I just go belly down. Now I need to go belly down, I need my arms out of the way. So you just stretch my arms out flat. Try to finish from there. It's very difficult, but I can completely unwind the choke by getting on to my other side. More than likely he's gonna post this knee in the mat, and when he does, that's gonna what's gonna give me my escape. Um, second option. From there, tie it up. As a bridge, he switches to tie it on mount. Yeah. And from there, when he makes this grip, his other hand's coming under my armpit. Puts it behind the back of my head. He only has to straighten his arms to finish the choke. Take it back a step. As he brings this arm under my armpit, 
they just clump it to my body, try to finish now. Now you do the same thing. I bring this leg behind and I just go belly down. Try to finish the choke from there. He doesn't have the profile, but I can completely unwind this by turning on to my side again. If he knows jujitsu, he'll be or transitioning from T-mount into the mount. And I'm already working. My elbow may escape. One more time on that. So again, he goes for the cross choke. As I go for Upa, he switches to tightening on mount. Starts to work his choke. As he brings, comes under my armpit, I just clamp this to my body. Try to finish. Now I go belly down by bringing my back leg under my top leg. But I, I can't have my arms in the way. Because if I turn belly down and my arms in the way, he puts his hooks in. Put both hooks in. Yeah, and then he's going to flap me out. So when we play this escape, the detail is, I have to keep my hips glued to the mat. I don't want him being able to put his hooks in. So when I bring this back leg back, it's a race to see if Lewis can put a hook in or my hip hits the mat first. So you just straighten my arms out. And now I turn on to my side as he transitions to the mount. I can work my escape. Last one is probably the most dangerous. Because I can't stay belly down, and he can finish it from there. So from here, when I bridge, and he switches to tightening on mount, and now from there, he grabs the other lapel. Now watch, when I go belly down, and I do this moves that we just last did, from there, even though he's no hooks in, he can finish from there. So when I do this escape, I have to get on my other side, I'm on my left side, I have to get on my right side as quick as I can. So from that position, okay, as you go belly down, I have to completely unwind this choke, okay. Now again, um, Lewis has ended up on his hip, I'm looking to get my back on the mat, and then from this position, I can start to break the grip, come up on top, and start to pass. Again, one more time. So here on top. So just on that variation, you need to be careful. The second, when I turn, and he's on time to the mount, and I'm on my left side, the minute he comes underneath with the choke, and he finds that other lapel, my goal is, immediately, I need to get onto my right side to unwind the choke. I can't stay flat on my belly. So from there, I bring my leg back. I don't want him putting in the second hook. I just stretch out. Try to choke, and then he, I come to here. Now, more than likely from this position, I'm going to end up in this position. But he's no hooks in. That makes sense. Plus, I'm on the underhook side, which is good for me. And now from there, as he tries to put his hook in, he can move away, and now I can start to come 